Hello everybody, welcome to Full Court Press. My name is Smoothie Smith. Um, today we are going to talk about the Badgers again. They finally did what I've been asking them to do for the last seven years. Get rid of the guy from the, from the 19th century. Um, it's a bittersweet moment for me. Um, you know, I mean, when, when, you know, when a coach, especially coming from me, when a coach hates a position just as bad as, you know, I mean, just because he's a running, running style coach, it's just so bad. I mean, it just is. Um, we are talking about Paul Chris. Um, he did get fired, and I'm... It's a bittersweet moment for me. Um, I've been asking him to get fired ever since he lost that game against Penn State in the Big Ten Championship game. Or the game against, game against Oregon. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, or being embarrassed on national television every single year by Ohio State. And, you know, this team this year it's pretty pathetic. I mean, if if they if they applied for federal funds in tw- for the twenty twenty two Badger football team, their application would get accepted. That's how bad this football team is. That's how bad this program is right now. You're gonna go two and four t- today. You are not gonna go into Evanston and win this game. Maybe you'll surprise me. Maybe you'll win. I don't know. But you lost to Illinois last week at home. Seriously? It's Brett Bielma. Jesus. Jesus wees. I mean... I, I, I... What are we doing here? You know, we go, we, we, we kick the ball, we, we, we punt the ball away on fourth and one. We go for it on fourth and six in Illinois territory. Seriously? When have we ever done that? Okay. But I, I, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm dumbfounded. We're two. We're gonna be two and four, and everybody. And and, and and you know what? We got Pittsburgh and Alabama coming in coming in the camp brand over in about two years. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Yeah, you might want to think about you know maybe rescheduling it to some low key teams like I'll give you an example, Wagner. UW Milwaukee, Illinois Chicago, Cardinal Stretch, teams that can actually win. Do they have any football? Do they do they have football teams at Cardinal Stretch? I don't think they do. So, I mean, either toughen up, win today. For Jim Leonard, who I want to, who I, I want him to do be successful, but if he's going to continue this bull crap about just playing like run, 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 blah 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 blah, then I'm out. I don't even want him. We gotta stop playing like it's the 19th century in Madison, Wisconsin. I, I mean, we can't hear a quarterback every day. Um, I'm sorry. We can't hate our quarterback every day. Um, if, and the people that talk about Barry Alvarez having a losing season from 2000, 2001 season to 2003 or 4 season, um, if that was a, today's standards, he'd be fired. Simple as that. I don't like Wisconsin AD. I don't. I don't like him, but he had to do what he had to do, but it should have never taken seven years to do.
which is make Austin Smith happy. And let me be clear, my last point, let me be clear. I'm okay with boring. My philosophy on coaching basketball is boring as heck. I come from the Dick Bennett tree. I want to go man-to-man and run a slow-paced offense. Same thing with Bo Ryan. I may not like the guy, but because of because of the way he's so boring, Greg Gard's the same way. But the thing the thing that I think people need to get is that there's a boring football and a boring basketball. They're a little bit different. At least in my view. I like basketball. So again, I don't want the same thing to happen over and over and over. Then we're insane. Which is three down in the cloud of dust and then have the horrible kicker kick the ball. And then we can apply for federal funds. Because I'm sure we're going to get them. But, again, that's my thing. We can't always be boring. We are in 2022. I'm tired of getting my ass kicked on national television by Ohio State. I don't care how good Ohio State is. We got beat by Illinois, Penn State, Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State. I mean, they don't play them just yet, but in recent years. All because we play this low-paced style of offense. And where, and where's that fat coach response? Well, I mean, we're going to get a bowl game. Say, listen, Monte Ball said something that's really, really, like, eye-opening for me. We're in the Big Ten. We gotta stop acting like a bowl game and a winning season is, is is good enough for us. We're in the Big Ten. We're with Ohio State, Michigan, and Michigan State and Penn State. Act like it. I mean, we're in the Big Ten West. I mean, it's so pathetic. Mormons could tell it to each other in the 1940s. I bet even I bet even the Nebraska Republican Party could beat the Nebraska Cornhuskers today. That's how pathetic this is. Yes, I get it. The Big e- the Big Ten East division is a little bit better than the Big Ten West. But I'm talking overall. We are in the Big Ten. It's still one conference. So, getting to the New Orleans Bowl, or the San Francisco Bowl, or the New York, New York Enterprise State Bowl, where we play at Yankee Stadium, that's not good enough for me. I want a January Bowl game. I want to compete for a Big Ten title. Okay? But in order to do that, the new head coach, which I don't think he will, needs to really, like, change the philosophy of how we play the game. Because it's not going to happen this year. And it's definitely not going to happen next year or the year after. We are in recovery mode. We are rebuilding mode. So, you better enjoy it while it lasts. Okay? Because this is not, this, this is going to get uglier before it, before it cleans up. My take.